oh, this is a new mathematics lecture, a new mathematics lesson. And as you can see, the title of our lesson is System of Two Equations. And this is part one of our lesson because we have part two of this lesson. I want to ask you guys, when we look at the title, which is System of Two Equations, is there any word that you know in this title? Yes? Uh, system. Yeah, equations. 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 equations, yes, equations. We have studied before equations in mathematics. We know that yes. an equation in mathematics is like the, the one given down here. An equation is an algebraic expression with numbers, operations, and a letter, and it is two sides. What do we mean by it is two sides? We have a side to the left, a side to the right, and in between we have an equal. So we studied before many, uh, many equations and we solved many equations together in mathematics. But in this lesson, we're not talking about one equation only. In this lesson, we are talking about system of two equations. So we will have two equations together as a system. They are written as a system. And of course, what we will do in this lesson is we are going to solve these equations. And when we solve these equations, of course, solving means we are getting a value for the variable in the equation. So as I said, this is part one of our lesson because our lesson is divided on two parts over two weeks. What are the objectives of our lesson? Objective number one is a reminder. Reminder means I want to remind you of something we studied before or seen before. What will I remind you? I will remind you how to identify if a number is a solution of an equation. And this we did before. And also I will remind you how to solve a first degree equation, which also we solved together before. So this is a reminder. Objective number two, I will define a system of two equations. I will tell you what do we mean when we say a system of two equations and from where did they get the idea of a system of two equations in mathematics? Objective number three, we will identify if a given couple is a solution of a given system. Then we are going to solve a system of two equations. And objective number five will be our, in our next lecture. So I will not read objective number five. So in this lecture, we are going to cover only four objectives, and the last one will be covered in the lecture of the next week. As I said, I will start with a reminder. Reminder means I am refreshing your memory of something that we studied before in previous lessons. I want to read this in front of you. We have a 3x minus 2 is equal to 7. Whenever I look at such a writing in mathematics, directly I say I have an equation. What tells me that this is an equation? The first thing, I see an equal here. So this equal divides the equation into two parts a part to the left on which I have 3x minus 2 and a part to the right on which I have 7. In between, I have an equal. So directly, I say 3x minus 2 equals 7 is an equation. So 3x minus 2, sorry. 3x minus 2 is the first part of my equation. 7 is the second part. And here I have an equal. Now I want, please, I want 
uh, Sarah to read. Yes, Sarah, please read. This is called. Yes, Sarah. Nurjan, can you read, please? Yes, miss. Yes, Sarah, read, please. This is called. Uh, this is called a first degree equation in the variable x. Let's stop, Sarah, uh, here. It... Let's, Sarah, let us stop uh, on this line. Stay with me, Sarah. So as Sarah said, this one, which is a 3x minus 2 is equal to 7, this is called a first degree equation. What do I mean yes. by first degree equation in the variable x? If I look again at the equation, which variable do we have in this equation, Sarah? Which variable do you see? X. X. So it is an equation in the variable X. What do we mean by first degree equation? First degree equation means the exponent is X is how much? Uh, one variable, which is X. No, we, we don't mean one variable, which is X. By first degree equation, I mean the exponent of X here, Sarah. When we have no exponent, oh, yes. this means that the exponent means one. is one, yes. So directly I say, this is called a first degree equation in the variable X. Continue, Sarah. Uh, it is of two parts with an equal in between. So we have, as I said, a part to the left, a part to the right, and an equal in between, yes. Continue. After solving this equation, we'll get a value for x called a solution or root. Sarah, you know that when I solve an equation, it means I'm getting a value for the variable x, right? In numbers. Yes. This value for the variable x has a name. It is called a solution or a root. Everything yes. is okay till now, guys? Here, I'm yes. reminding you of things yeah. we studied before. Any question till now? No. No. Okay. No. Okay. okay. Now, I want, please, Mahdi to read. Yes, Mahdi. No? No, if a given number is a solution of an equation. Listen, Mahdi. Suppose so I gave... Listen, Mahdi. What does this mean? Suppose I gave you again this equation, Mahdi, 3x minus 2 is equal to 7, okay? Yes. I didn't ask you to solve it. I said you have an equation, 3x minus 2 is equal to 7, and I gave you a value for x. I told you, suppose that x is equal to 1, and what you should do is, check if x equal one is a solution of this equation. So we should check if a given value for the variable x is a solution. What should we do, Mahdi? Continue reading. Suppose, Suppose we are given an equation and a, a value of, a of the variable. If we went back to the, to the check. That if we want, if we a, want, Mahdi, oh, we if want we want. Check, Continue. Yes, Mahdi. Mahdi, continue. If we want to check. He's Mahdi not in the session. Huh? No, he's not in the session. I think he got disconnected. No, he's, he's still uh, online, but I don't know. Maybe he is, uh, he is uh, having a problem in connection. Okay, please continue reading uh, Nurjan. Yes, Nurjan. Again, Nurjan, how can we know if a given number is a solution of an equation? Read, Nurjan. Suppose we are given an equation and a value of the variable. Yes. If we want to check that this given value is a solution of the equation, what should we do? So, Nurjan, you are given an equation and you are given a value for x. Okay, Nurjan? 
Yes. What should we do to know if this value is a solution? Yes, what should we do, Nurjan? Read, we? We replace the given value in the equation. So in the equation, I replace x by the given value. Yes, Nurjan. Number one. If it satisfi satisfies the two sides of equation are equal, then the given value is a solution of the equation. So after replacing the value of x, if it satisfies, what do we mean by the word satisfies? If we get two equal sides of the equation, then the given value is a solution of the equation. Yes, number two, number two, please. If it doesn't satisfy, the two sides of the equation are not equal, then the given value is not a solution of the equation. This is very simple. So we have an equation, we have a value for x. To know if it's a solution, I replace it in the equation. After replacing and calculating, if I get two equal sides, this means it satisfies, then the, the given value is a solution. If it doesn't satisfy, if I didn't get two equal sides, then the given value is not a solution. Any question about anything in this slide, guys? No. Please, don't be shy to ask. Guys, any question? No. It's no. like a normal equation. A normal equation, at best. 3x minus mm. 2 equals 7 is a normal or abnormal equation? A normal. Yes, so it applies to any equation, at best, OK? Mm. Fadel, I want to hear your voice. Are you here, Fadel? Yes, miss. Fadel, in this slide, did you get what I need you to, rem to remember from the, from the past lessons that we studied together about equation? Yes. Did you get everything, Fadel? Yes. I don't like this yes that you said now. Now, let me give you examples. Example number one. Yes, Alex. Alex? I'm here, sorry, miss. Okay, Alex. In the, in the past or in the previous, uh, in the previous uh, slide, we said if we are given an equation, Alex, and a value for X, to know if this value is a solution, we should replace it in the equation, right? Of course, yeah. So it's like two times four minus five equals three. Now we will solve it, Alex. But but I'm reminding you of what we said. Now we oh, are yeah, applying. This is easy, man. No now, problem. Alex, we are applying what we said before in an example. Please look at look at the first example and read, Alex. You have an equation. Please read the equation. Two uh, x minus five equals three. This is if the equation. Wait, four, Alex. Three, three. Wait, Alex. This is the equation. Two x minus five equals three. Now read the question, please. We replace the given no, value. No, no, no. Read, Alex, read well, the question. Read the question. Is is x equal for a solution of the equation? So you are given okay. a value for x. Is x equal for a solution of the equation? What should we do, Alex? Please continue reading. <coughs> First, we need to take the given and then replace the x's in there. Since we have Alex, a single x. Please, Alex, we, re we replace. The value of the x's. Yes, in the equation. So yeah. in this equation here, I replace wherever I see x, I replace it by 4. Oh, no. Yes, you Alex, read. 4 minus 5 equals 3, 8 minus 5 equals 3, 3 equals 3. No, equals Alex, three it's not equal. Alex, this is very critical and it's very important to know. Here, I still don't know if the two sides are equal. So I don't say they are equal. I say okay. 2 times 4 minus 5. Is it equal to three? Is so here I'm three? asking. Eight yes. Minus five is equal to three. Three is it equal to three? Which is true. Then x equals four is a solution. So x equal four is a solution. Yes, yes, Mina. Thank you, Alex. Yes, Mina. Yes, miss. Yes, Mina. The second example. Please read the given equation. Okay. 
uh, 2x minus 7 plus 5 minus 3x uh, equal to 4 x minus 1. This is the equation. Now the question, Yasmina. Is x equal uh, to minus 1 a solution? To know if it's a solution, what should we do? Read the second uh, line. We replace the given value in the equation. So the given value of x, I replace it wherever I see x in the equation. Continue reading, Yasmina. 2? Two? Uh, 2 and 2 minus 1 minus 7 plus 5 minus 3 into minus 1. Is it equal to uh, 4 into minus 1 uh, minus 1? Now let's calculate. 2 times minus 1? Uh, minus 2. Minus 7 goes down, uh, plus 5 goes down. Minus 3 times minus 1? Um, plus 3. Is it equal, equal to 2. 4 times minus 1? Uh, minus 4. And minus 1 goes down. Now let's calculate the first side. Stay with me, Yasmina. Minus 2 minus 7 is how much? It's minus 1. Minus 9 uh, plus minus 5? Uh, plus 14. No, minus 9 plus 5. It's minus 4, Yasmina. Right? Yes. Minus four plus three, it's minus one. So the answer of the first side is minus one. Now let's get the answer of the second side. Minus four minus one is how much? It's minus five. So minus one, is it equal to minus five? No, it's false. False, right? So it's not a solution. So X equal minus one is not a solution. So this is how we use to check if a given value is a solution of a given equation. Any question about this, guys? No. No. Because no. We, are going to no. Use, we are going to use the same strategy in our new lesson. What we are doing now is not losing time. I'm doing this because I'm doing the same strategy in our new lesson. OK, guys? Yeah. Okay. okay. So, so let me continue. Also, as a reminder, how do we solve a first degree equation? Yes, Adam. 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 Ya Adam. كل مرة بدي غني لك يا Adam. يا أدوما. ما بدي منك شيء بس بدي إياك تقرأ يا Adam. أدوما. يا آدم آدم خليني نشوف إذا آدم here آدم you are here please unmute and answer me آدم okay you are not here آدم of course your name is here but you are absent today thank you آدم yes عباس عباس yes Raise your voice, Abbas. Reminder, read. Okay. The solve of uh, the solve a first degree equation. So Abbas, we have Abbas, we have seen hmm. this before. How can we solve a first degree equation in X? Continue, Abbas. Okay. To solve a first degree equation is to get a solution or root of the variable in the equation. So when we solve an equation, Abbas, what do we mean by this? We are getting a value for the variable x, which is a number called a solution or a root, right? Yes. Continue, Abbas. We should get all the, get all the variables in the equation to side one and write all the numbers in the equation on side two. This is what we used to do. In any equation you have, all the variables should be on side one and all the numbers should be on side two, right? Yes. Thank you, Abbas. Now I want, please, uh, Lana, yes, Lana. Lana? Yes, miss. Yifik ya, Lana. منيحة تقتلك أنا منيحة الحمد لله الحمد لله please read the example لنا example start reading you have an equation which is 5x minus 7 plus 2 
So Lana, here you have an equation. This is the equation mm. that you read, we should solve it. What do we mean by solving? We should find a value for the variable x, right? Yes. Okay. What, what did we say, Lana? We say, again, read the line written in green up. Read it again, Lana, please. We should get all the variables and the solution to slide in the one. Equation, and the in the equation. In the equation to slide one and write all the numbers in the equation on slide two. Again, if we look at your equation here, Lana, what do you hmm? see other than variables, numbers, and operations? What do you see? What's this? Uh, three more, uh, What's this? What do we call these two? A minus seven. Uh, no, 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 no. What do we call this? What do we call this where you see the cursor? What do we call it in mathematics? We need uh, two times three. Yeah, right. We say this is a parenthesis, right, Lana? Oh, OK, OK. So we should get rid of the parenthesis, right? Mm. Okay, we write 5x minus 7. Now, plus 2 times 3 is how much? Uh, 6. Plus 2 times minus x is? Minus 2x. Plus 2 goes down, equal goes down, x goes down, plus 5 goes down. Now, your equation doesn't have any more parentheses. Now, we should apply this green line. All the variables mm -hmm. should be on side 1. All the numbers should be on side 2. Uh, I two. want to ask you, Lana, 5x is where? On side 1 or on side 2? Side 1. So, we leave it as it is. Minus yes. seven has no has no variable, we leave it aside. Plus six has no variable, leave it aside. Minus two mm. X has a variable. Where is it on side one or on side two? Side one. So we leave it as it is. Plus two has no variable equal x is a variable on side two. If I take it to side one, plus x comes what? A minus. Okay, equal, plus 5, I leave it as it is, minus 7, I want to take it to side 2, it becomes a plus 7, plus 6 mm. becomes minus 6, minus plus 2 six. becomes minus 2, right? Mm. Yes. Now, let's calculate side 1, Lana. 5x minus 2x? Um, 2. No, 5x minus 2x, 5 minus 2 is how much? 3. Minus x is 2x, right? 2x, yes. Yes, 5 plus 7 is? 13. 5 plus 7, what do you mean? 5 plus 7, 12. 12 minus 6? Uh, 6. Minus two is four. Now you have two X equal four is a simple equation form. Do you still remember the simple equation form A X equal B? Yes. So X is equal to four over two, then X is equal to two. We call it a solution or a root. This is how we solve a first degree equation. Okay, Lana? Yes. Any question about how we solve a first degree equation, guys? No. 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 So these, as you see, no. these are still a reminder from previous lessons. I haven't started with our lesson yet. Now comes our new lesson, which is the system of two equations. As I said in this lesson, I'm going to have two equations at the same time. When we have two equations at the same time, we call them a system. So when we have two equations, they are called a system. First, we are going to define a system of two equations. Definition. You will always see a brace. This is, we call it a brace in mathematics. We have a parenthesis, we have a bracket, and we have a brace. So this is a brace. We always write our solutions starting with this brace. As you can see, we have equation one and we have equation two. Let's look at equation one. In equation one, 
I will have a coefficient here. Why did I write a box, an empty box? Because here I might have any number. The coefficient might be a positive number or a negative number. So I might have, for example, 2x minus 5x, 3x. I might have minus x. So this I uh, this this here the coefficient it changes from an equation to another, but the fixed here should always I have the variable x. Plus, I have also a coefficient which is written as a box because it changes. I have another variable y. In the previous lessons, we studied equations with only one variable because we were dealing with only one equation. But in this lesson, because we are dealing with a system of two equations, we will be having two variables, x and y. So in the first equation, we have a variable x and a variable y equal. Here, of course, we might have a number, a positive number or a negative number. Also in equation two, we will have a coefficient multiplied by a variable x plus a coefficient multiplied by a variable y equal a number. So this is how a system in mathematics of two equations should look always. Always in a system of two equations, we have equation one and equation two. In every equation, I have two variables x and y. Of course, they have as I said, coefficients. And after the equal, I always have numbers. Is this clear, guys? How should a system in mathematics look? Yes. Yeah. So always in a system of two equations, yeah. we have two equations with two variables. Now, please, I want Fadil to read. Yes, Fadil, I want you to read something. Yes. Please read here, Fadil. It is, what is a system of two equations? It is? It is a set of collection of two equations. Or collection. Of two. It is a set or collection. Read slowly, Fadil. It is? It is a set or, or collection of two equations of two variables each. So in it, Fadil, we have two equations. And, and in every equation, we have two variables. Yes. In each of the two equations, will be having the same variables. What do we mean by this? So if here the variable is x and here the variable of is y, in the second equation, we should also have a variable x and a variable y. We cannot have different variables in the two equations. We cannot have in the first equation x and y, and in the second equation z and t, for example. This doesn't work. So in the two equations, as Fadil said, we'll be having the same variables, x and y. Yes, Fadil, continue. We'll call them couple x and y. So what do we call this x and y? We call them couple. What do we mean by couple two? So we call them couple x, y. So these are called couple x, y. So this is how a system of two equations look in this way. Now, from where did they get the idea of system of two equations in mathematics? They got it from the system of axes. I want now, please, Callum to read. Yes, Callum. Yes. Read, please. Idea of system of two equations. Equations. In a system of axes, we can draw a straight line. Let's draw a straight line D, which is Y equals to 2X minus 1. We have learned, Callum, that in a system of, uh, of axes, we can draw straight lines, right? Yeah. So if you are given a straight line D, y equal to x minus 1, 
we always said to draw a straight line, we draw a table in it, we write X and Y, we take a value for X, we get it for Y by replacing, we, we take another value for X, we take it for, we get it for Y. After that, we replace, if X is equal to zero, Y is equal to minus one. So this is the first one. If X is equal to one, Y is equal to one. I join this X with this X, so I get the red line which is line D. We learned how to draw a straight line in a system of axes, right? Yeah. Yes, uh, yes. Ka yes, Karen, please continue. Okay. On line D, we have an infinite number of points. So we for can every see, abscissa. wait, column. We can see that yeah. on line D, I can have many points. I can have a point one, one. I can have a point two, Two, I can have a point three, three. I can have a point four, for example, five maybe. So I have different points in the system on the straight line D. Continue column. For every, for every abscissa, we can have an ordinate. Yes. Okay. So this line has infinite number of solutions and each solution has an X and Y. So on this line, we can have many solutions. Everyone has an abscessa X and an ordinate Y, yes. If I'm looking for only one single solution, how can I get it? So I don't want all the solutions on line D. I only want column one solution for line D. How can I get this solution? Yes. I need Continue. another line to intersect with D. The point of intersection is a solution I'm looking for. So I get another line, for example, line D small, Y equal minus X plus two. I draw it in the system of axes. Do you see where line capital D and line small D intersect in this point here? Do you see the point of intersection? Yeah. yeah. This is yeah. the solution yeah. I'm looking for. So as you can see in D, I have an X and Y and in small D, I have an X and Y where they intersect is the solution I'm looking for. That's why in a system of axes, I take two equations. Each equation represents a straight line. What I'm getting is their intersection. This is what we mean by this slide. Okay, guys? Okay. Okay, I will stop here because our time is over. Please take notes for tomorrow and tomorrow we'll continue.